Hello students, now we will continue the problems on overheads. Already we have completed two main problems on allocation and apportionment of overheads. So if you are watching regularly, continuously, then definitely you got the, some idea about how to allocate and apportion the overheads among different departments, production department and service department. So if you want the complete knowledge, watch the video till the end. Then only you can be able to get the complete grasp on the topic of overheads. It's very interesting. The only thing is overheads are indirect expenses. It will be difficult to apportion the overhead expenses among all the products or all the departments. So different basis we have to use. The cost accountant has to make this relationship between the overhead and the basis. Then make a ratio and apportion the overheads. So if you are new to my channel, go to the playlist. You will find so many videos on different subjects like advanced accounting, corporate accounting, financial accounting, business statistics, financial management, investment management. So many videos are there. Select the video which you want. Watch it completely. Get a good knowledge on the subject. So if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe my channel. Share the video in your groups, in your friends, so that more students can benefit from these videos. So now I'm starting the third problem, third main problem. But before starting the problem, again, I request my viewers to get a hard copy of the problems given in the link under the description and keep it ready before watching the video. Come on, I'm reading out the third problem. Uh, a company's production for the year ending 30th June 1979 is as given below. Items are given production department P1, P2, P3, office, stores, workshop, total. See, P1, P2, P3 are the production department. And the service department are office is a service department, stores is the second service department and workshop is the third service department. So three production department, three service department. Now the items are given, direct wages are given for P1, P2, P3 and direct material is given for P1, P2, P3. Remember, when we make overhead summary, we should take only overheads and overheads means the uh, expenditure which is over and above prime cost over and above prime cost the prime cost consists of direct material direct wages direct expenses so when we calculate or when we make over its summary we should not consider the prime cost items the prime cost items are direct material direct wages of the production department Direct material and direct wages of the production department should not be taken into account in overhead summary. So this is additional information given. So direct wages and direct material will not come in the overhead summary. Now indirect material and indirect wages, this will be taken into account for all the departments. Then area square meters, this is the information given. Each department occupies how much area. Then book value of machinery is given. Total HP, this is the first problem in which HP of machine is given, horsepower of machine is given. Then machine hours worked is given for P1, P2, P3. This is the complete information given. Now what are the overheads? General expenses. The general expenses are rent 12,500. Now we have to apportion the rent. Remember, the basis for apportionment will not be specified in the problem. You have to decide which item should be distributed on what basis. So we have already covered two, three problems where we have seen rent is related to area. More rent, more area or more area, more rent, less area, less rent. So on the basis of area, we will apportion the value or the amount of rent 12,000. Insurance. Now insurance, nothing is given. So we assume insurance is on plant and machinery. Insurance is on plant and machinery. Previous two problem it was given insurance on stock. That's why on the base of stock we have a portion. But in this problem it is not given stock. So insurance we assume it is on machinery. So we distribute insurance on the base of value of machinery. Then depreciation 15% of the uh, value of machinery. Depreciation specifically allocation is given. Apportionment is not there. Apportionment tap karenge jab amount agar de diya hum distribute karenge. Amount nahi diya. Ya depreciation is saying 15% of the value of machinery. So we'll see what is the value of machinery in each department. Of that we calculate 15%. That is allocation. And power 3800. Previous problem power we have distributed on the basis of value of machinery. 
but the more appropriate uh, basis to be used is HP of machine. If HP of machine is not given, then we can apportion on the basis of value of machinery. If HP of machine is given in the problem, we distribute the power on the basis of HP of machinery. Next, uh, power uh, light. Light will be based on lighting points. If lighting points is given, lighting points are not given. So we take the area. The alternative is area. So lighting will be distributed on the basis of area. You are required to prepare an overhead analysis sheet for the department showing clearly the basis of apportionment where necessary. It is asking you to show the overhead summary. So here service department names are given office, stores and workshop. That's why in this problem we have to make the primary distribution as well as secondary distribution. Both distribution will make. First you see primary distribution summary. Allocation and apportionment of overheads among all departments P1, P2, P3, office, stores, workshop. So, totally six departments are there. Serial number, overheads, basis of apportionment, total, then production departments P1, P2, P3, and service department, office, stores, and workshop. These are the columns format we need. Now, one by one, indirect material. Just now I told you. Direct material and direct wages of production department will never be taken because they are not overheads. So direct material or direct wages nahi lege. Indirect material allocation because specifically it is given P1 2000, P2 3000, P3 3000, office 1000, stores 2000, workshop 2000. Specifically given we have taken the total 13,000. Indirect wages allocation again specifically given for P1, P2, P3. Uh, office, stores, workshop. Specifically, alag alag de diya problem mein, we have taken 35. Now, rent. Rent is given 12,500 and nothing is given on what basis. So, we have made the basis as area. Rent will be apportioned on the basis of area. Area is 20 is to 25 is to 30, 15, 10, 5. All are divisible by 5. 5 4s are 20, 5 5s are 25, 5 6s are 30, 5 3s are 15, 5 2s are 10, 5 5s are 20. Now 12,500 will be apportioned in this ratio, in this ratio. So we'll get 2,000, 2,500, 3,000, 1,500, 2,500. Insurance, the amount of insurance is given 1,050. Now book value of machinery. Now in the problem, machinery is given for P1, P2, P3 and workshop. No machinery is given for office and stores. So insurance, office and stores I have put dash, nothing. No insurance. Ja machine hai wapa insurance. Ja machine nahi hai wapa no insurance. So here 1050 is the insurance. It will be a portion on the basis of value of machinery. The book value of machinery 30, 35, 25, 15. So 5 is 35, 6 is 35, 7 is 35, 5, 5 is 25, 5, 3 is 15. So 6 is to 7 is to 5 is to 3. In this ratio we divide 1050. Right? So 1050 into 6 divided by 21. Is it 21? Yes, 21. 6 by 21. 7 by 21, 5 by 21, 3 by 21. We'll get these values. Next to depreciation. Depreciation is given in the problem 15% on the book value of machinery. The book value of machinery is given. So on that book value, we will calculate 15%. So we'll get P1 4,500, P2 5,250, 3,750, and last month 2,250. 15% on the value of machinery. Power. Power is given 3,800. I told you power will be apportioned on the basis of horsepower, HP of machine. HP of machine 15, 20, 25, 5. 5 is a divisible by 5, 3 is a 15, 5, 4 is a 20, 5, 5 is a 25, 5 is a 5. 3 is to 4 is to 5 is to 1. In this ratio we divide 3800. Last one, light. Light will be apportioned on the basis of area. Area already we have calculated 4, 5, 6, 3, 2, 5. 4, 5, 6, 3, 2, 5. 1250 is the total light. 1250 is the year ratio divide. 200, 250, 300, 150, 100, 250. Now find out the total of P1, P2, P3, office, stores, workshop. We got the totals here. Now take the total of total column. Total of total column. This total we got 82,350. Now cross verify whether we have done correctly or not. Take the total of all these six departments, you should get 82,350. So vertically as well as horizontally, you should get 80 to 350. Then only your calculations are absolutely right. So we have confirmed it. This is the primary distribution. 
or allocation and apportionment of overheads among all the departments. Now we are going to make the secondary distribution. Secondary distribution summary. It is nothing but reapportionment of service department overheads to production department. तो सर्विस डिपार्टमेंट और इट्स कॉन्सिक्वेंस है ऑफिस स्टोर्स वर्कशॉप ये तीनों डिपार्टमेंट को क्लोज कर दो ये तीनों डिपार्टमेंट का जो एक्सपर्ट टोटल है दैट टोटल विल बी रीअपोर्शनड इन P1 P2 एंड P3 दैट इज कॉल्ड रीअपोर्शनमेंट ऑफ सर्विस डिपार्टमेंट और इट्स टू प्रोडक्शन तो प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट्स आर P1 P2 P3 फर्स्ट वी विल टेक एज पर द प्राइमरी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन As per the primary distribution, P1 is twelve thousand eight seventy seven. I have taken fifteen thousand five nineteen, fifteen thousand seven sixty two. These are the totals of P1, P2, P1, P2, P3 as per the primary distribution. Now one by one we will reapportion. The first service department is office. The total of office is twelve thousand six fifty. Now we have to distribute twelve thousand six fifty in the three departments P1, P2, P3. In what ratio? It is not specified in the problem. Not specified in the problem. So normally there is a principle in cost accounting that the office overhead should be distributed in the ratio of direct wages. In the ratio of direct wages, I already discussed you in the theory video also overheads. In theory video overheads, I have explained you the office and administration overhead will be distributed in the ratio of Direct wages. So here, reapportionment of service department office twelve thousand six fifty in the ratio of direct wages. Now go to the problem and see how much are the direct wages. Twenty thousand, twenty-five thousand, thirty thousand given. Three zeros omit. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Or simplify करेंगे तो five fours are twenty, five fives are twenty-five, five sixes are thirty. So we got four is to five is to six. In other words, twelve thousand six fifty into four by fifteen. You will get three three seventy. Twelve thousand six fifty into five by fifteen, <coughs> four two one seven. Twelve thousand six fifty into six by fifteen, five zero six zero. हो गया. Finished. Office department closed. Transfer it to P one, P two, P three. Similarly, second one is uh, stores. Stores department. Store means the go down place where material is kept. So there is relationship between stores and material. So we divide the stores over it in the ratio of Direct material. So store reapportionment of service department stores thirteen thousand one hundred in the ratio of direct material. Remember, this will not be given in the problem. We have to apply our rule accounting principles. Then the direct material are thirty thousand, thirty five thousand, forty five thousand. Three zeros omitted thirty, thirty five, forty five. So say five six are thirty, five seven are thirty five, five nine are forty. Six is to seven is to nine. Now. Uh, thirteen thousand one hundred into six by twenty-two. Add up six plus seven plus nine, you'll get twenty-two. So thirteen thousand one hundred into six by twenty-two, you'll get three five seven three. Thirteen thousand one hundred into seven by twenty-two, you'll get this amount. Thirteen thousand one hundred into nine by twenty-two, five three five nine. Over. So the two service department overheads we have closed, transferred it to P one, P two, P three. Lastly, workshop. Service department workshop total is twelve thousand four forty-two. Now workshop. The total of service department workshop will be apportioned in the ratio of machine hours worked. Workshop is a place where machineries are used. So there is a relationship between workshop and machine hours. It is given in the problem machine hours. So in the ratio of machine hours, we distribute workshop overheads. Reapportionment of service department overhead workshop will be twelve thousand four forty two. In the ratio of machine hours worked. It is given ten, twenty, fifteen, ten thousand to twenty thousand, fifteen thousand. So two is to four is to three. Five twos are ten. Five fours are twenty. Five threes are fifty. So this twelve thousand four forty two into two by nine, into four by nine, into three by nine. You'll get these values. Now take the total P one, P two, P three. The total of production department P one is twenty two five eighty eight. The total of uh, service department P uh, production department P two twenty nine four thirty four. The total of production department P three thirty thousand three twenty eight. That's all. So I have explained completely problem number three. In this problem, you have seen we have made two distributions: primary distribution and secondary. Primary distributing all overheads among all the departments. Secondary reapportioning the service department overheads back to production department. That's all. So this is the end of. Problem number three.
Come on, now we'll start the next problem, problem number four. Calculate the overage chargeable to production departments A and B. There are two service departments X and Y. So totally four departments we have A and B are production, X and Y are service. X renders service worth rupees 12,000 to Y and the balance to A and B in the ratio of 3 is to 2. And Y renders service to A and B in the ratio of 9 is to 1. In this problem, X is rendering some service to Y. Whereas Y is rendering all the service only to A and B. Y is not rendering service any to X. X is A, B or Y. Ko de hai. Or Y is service de hai, only A and B. Ko. So Y ka jo total rahenga, wo 9 is to 1 ke ratio distribute karenge between A and B. Or X ka jo total rahenga, us pe 12,000 rupees nikal kar Y me dal denge. Or baki ka jo X ka value rahenga, usko 3 is to 2 ke ratio mein A or B me divide karenge. That's the sentence. Now, information given floor space in square feet. Then asset value in lakhs of rupees. HP of machines, number of workers, light and fan points. These are the information which is given to take it as base. Now expenses and charges are depreciation 1,90,000. Depreciation 1,90,000 will be apportioned in the ratio of value of machinery. There is relationship between depreciation and machinery. So the depreciation will be distributed in the ratio of value of machinery. Secondly, rent 36,000. Already we know it. It's very easy. Rent always related with the area. So rent will be proportional on the base of area. Then insurance. Again, nothing is specified. So we assume insurance is on machinery. So again, insurance will be apportioned on the base of value of machinery. Then power. The power expenditure will be distributed on the base of HP of machines. If problem mein HP is not given, we would have used the value of machinery. But when HP is given, we use the HP of machine as the base. Then canteen expenses. So this is directly related, related with number of workers. Because workers only will get the advantage from benefit from canteen. So canteen expenses will be apportioned on the basis of number of workers. Lastly, electricity. The electricity charges will be apportioned on the basis of light and fan points. The information is given. How many light and fan points are there in each department? In that ratio, electricity will be distributed. So comparatively, this problem is very, very easy. After doing the last two problems, I don't think any difficulty you will get in making the primary distribution and secondary. The primary distribution summary, serial number, overheads, basis of apportionment, total. Then production departments are A and B, service department are X and Y. Right now, depreciation first indirect expenses overheads are given depreciation. So, depreciation 1 lakh 90,000 and it will be apportioned on the basis of value of machinery asset value. The assets value are 10 is to 5 is to 3 is to 1. After simplifying, you can see the problem there. We remove three zeros after removing three zeros, we are getting 10 is to 5 is to 3 is to 1. So, 1 lakh 90,000 into 10 by 19. 1 lakh 90,000 into 5 by 19, 1 lakh 90,000, 3 by 19, 1 by 19. The total is 19, 15, 18, 19. We go, we have distributed. Rent area. Area is also given in the problem. We have shortened it to 5 is to 4 is to 1 is to 2. So 5 plus 4, 9, 10, 12. 36,000 into 5 by 12, 36,000, 4 by 12, 36, 1 by 12, 2 by 12. We have apportioned. Insurance is given 15,200. Again, it will be apportioned on the basis of asset value. I said 10 is to 5 is to 3 is to 1. So 15, 18, 19. 15,200 into 10 by 19, 5 by 19, 3 by 19, 2 by 19. Similarly, power to 20,000. HP of machines are given in the problem 10, 5, 4, 1. So 15, 19, 20. 20,000 divided by 10 by 20, 5 by 20, 4 by 20, 1 by 20. We got these values. Then canteen expenses, number of workers. Number of workers are given 100, 50, 50, 25. So all are divisible by 25. 25 4 is 100, 25 2 is 50, 25 2 is 50, 25 1 is 20. So 4 is to 2 is to 2 is to 1. So 10,800 into 4 by 9, 2 by 9, 2 by 9, 1 by 9. We got these values. Electricity, 4,800. Light and fan points, 5 is to 3 is to 2 is to 2. Given in the problem, light and fan points. So 5 plus 3, 8, 9, 10, 12. So 4,800 into 5 by 12, 3 by 12, 2 by 12, 2 by 12. We got these values. Take the total. Now we want to confirm whether our calculations are right or not. For that, we take the total of total column. Total of 
total column it will give you 2,76,800 now we calculate the total horizontally by taking this adding up these 4 values 1,39,800 plus 74,600 plus 42,600 plus 19,800 if you add up this 4 you must get 2,76 if you commit any mistake while apportionment then definitely this total will not tally that means you have done some mistake so this is the verification we have completed the primary distribution now we are coming to the secondary distribution that is reapportionment of service department over its back to production departments so two production departments we have a and b so as per primary distribution summary we have a 139800 b 74600 139800 74600 then reapportionment of service department x 42600 you can see 42600 is the total of service department x in the problem it is given that x is providing 12000 rupees worth of service to y and the balance it will distribute between a and b in the ratio of 3 to 2 that sentence is given to apne 42600 mein se 12000 rupees ka service ne y ko de dena to with subtract for 12000 see here reapportionment of service department x 42600 X gives service to Y 12,000 and the balance to A and B is the ratio of 3 to 2. So by the total 42,600 minus 12,000 because this 12,000 will be added in Y, yeah, added in B, added in B. So <clears throat> 42,600 minus 12,000, 30,600. Now 30,600 into 3 by 5, 3 plus 2, 5, 3 by 5. 30,600 into 2 by 5. So we get 18,360, 12,240. This is the reapportionment of service department X. Now we have to reapportion the service department Y. Already Y is having a total of 19,800. <clears throat> 19,800 is the total of Y. But Y is getting 12,000 rupees service from X. So we add 12,000. 19,800 plus 12,000, 31,800 is the total amount available for Y. And this will be apportioned between A and B in the ratio of 9 is to 1. 9 by 10, 1 by 10, given in the problem. So 31,800 into 9 by 10, 31,800 into 1 by 10. 28,620, 3,120. Take the total of A and B, 1,86,780, 90,020. This is the <coughs> total of production department A and B. So we have completed the fourth problem. After doing fourth problem, I think that students will go and got a good command over the topic of ORITs. That means how to solve, how to allocate an apportionment, apportion the overheads among different departments. Not only allocation, but reallocation, reapportionment. So if you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video, share it in your group and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications from time to time. So every day I'm uploading some knowledgeable videos for the benefit of students. We'll continue in the next video the next problem.